Hello, hello everyone. It is Mike. Uh, it is time for my midweek review. Uh, as I talked about last week, I'm doing a little, little theme kind of a thing for the next few movies. It's dealing with killer vehicles or machines, whatever. Um, last week, I reviewed the original movie, The Car, which was made in 1977. Uh, just a fun little horror movie. This week, I'm going to be talking about its stylized sequel. Um, it is called The Car Road to Revenge. And it was made in, or released, I guess, in 2018. It has a big one star on Rotten Tomatoes. Or one whatever tomato, whatever. I don't know how the, the rating system. Anyway. Um, this movie has a killer car, um, and it is a possessed car, and it kills people. That's really the only similarity that this movie has with the original. Uh, it does have Ronnie Cox in it, um, who was in the original. He plays the mechanic, um, but that is pretty much it. The rest of the people I've never heard of. Um, I'm just going to talk about the main character. The main difference in this movie. Okay, so let's just kind of talk about the plot. Um, there's this really mean, evil uh, district attorney who, you know, just... It's kind of a modern-day, I don't know, apocalyptic kind of time. I, I don't know. I, I My head hurt after watching this movie. Anyway, so we have this DA, he's a real, real uh, charmer, and he is violently, and I do mean violently, murdered by these cyberpunks, and these cyberpunks throw him out of his apartment's window, or I guess it was his apartment or his office, I don't know, but he was way up there, and he lands on his car. So, yeah. That's, you know, that's basically what happens to the DA, and then the car comes back, possessed, of course, by this wicked DA, and he is after the cyberpunks and anybody else who might piss him off along the way. Um, another plot difference in this movie, other than that, is that we do not have, like, a group of cops... And, and a main guy in this movie. I mean, there is kind of a main guy, but he's like a secondary character. Um, we do have a woman who is the main character in this movie. Um, her name is Kathleen Monroe, and she plays Darla, and she's actually a pretty good actress. Uh, she was pretty, um, pretty tough in this movie. So, plot. Possessed by a, a bad guy. Um, so, unlike the first one, we didn't know what this car was possessed by, but we know now. Um, so, that's different. Um, and then we have it running around, and he picks these cyberpunks off one by one. And, um, you know, and then he just kind of goes off on all kinds of little chases and terrorizes people and kills people. Um, the killing is pretty nonstop. Uh, this girl, Darla, was actually this guy's kind of love interest at one time, but she had had it with him, so they really weren't seeing each other when he was killed. Um, and then, of course, you have the cops that are trying to figure out exactly what happened. So, basically, the plot is kill a car, chasing people, killing people. All right. Uh, gore and effect, you will love this one. It, although most of it's all, C it's pretty much all CGI, so it, it doesn't necessarily look fake. But when the car runs over somebody's head, that head pops like a big old pepperoni pizza, uh, just splatters all over the place. So yeah, you're gonna see lots of uh, CG blood, and and you see the aftermath of what this car does to these people because he don't play games. Um, Unlike the first car, the first movie, the original, you don't see any blood or anything. This one, there's lots of blood. So, gore hongers, you, gore hongers, 
gore mongers, you might like this one. Um, if all you're looking for is gore, there's plenty of it. Uh, as far as the other effects, the car is cool. It's actually we get the original look, uh, the the badass thick black Lincoln um, that was in the first one. We get a pretty close facsimile to that towards the end of the movie. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it's you know the uh, there are some of the kills or some of the uh, afflicted injuries to these people there's there's a scene with an eye Ugh, it's awful um but yeah so if you like gore you're gonna love this one as far as the acting goes it was i mean except for the the girl who played darla uh the guy who played the da who was such a such a wiener he uh he's all right you know he was pretty good at being a wiener um the rest of them were just really very shallow uh, throwaway figures that were just there basically to either look pretty or get killed. And that's pretty much it. So, not going to give it much as far as ratings. As far as fear, like the fear scale, I, you know, I guess it didn't scare me, it bored me. Um, just because it was so, uh, I don't know, not interesting. Um, but you know, I'm going to give it at least a midway score for Scare Factor because there were some pretty gory deaths in this one. Uh, I would never own this movie. Um, I'm, I watched it on Netflix. You can watch it on Netflix. I think you might even be able to find it free somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to watch this because it, the car, the, I thought it was a sequel. And eh, they call it a stylized sequel. Um, but it definitely doesn't have the... The first one had a certain charm to it. Um, the characters were believable. Uh, of course, all these cyberpunks that are in... You know, they all look weird. They have weird hair. They have, you know, weird piercings. They, you know, they have all this weird jewelry that turns into knives and stab... I don't know. Um, so none of it was really believable to me. Of course, I'm not really big into that kind of post-apocalyptic post genre. Um, and this isn't post-apocalyptic. The earth is still here. The roads are still here. Every, the buildings, everything. Um, it's just It just reminded me of the reverse of RoboCop, where the car was RoboCop, and he was just going after every bad person he could find. So... Hmm. Um, I would give this movie probably a 2 out of 5, uh, just because it it just was kind of a smack in the face to the original. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you like uh, killer car movies and you like gore, uh, CGI gore, uh, go ahead and give it a chance. There's, you know, I, I can't say that I hate it. I watched it. I watched most of it. Um, I watched, I mean, I watched it till the end pay attention to all of it but <clears throat> that's why I can't give you a lot of detail on the characters because they were all bland and boring but that's just me you may love this movie so let me know what you think below guys and I will talk to you later